Les and I'm from Hunt and Gather Farms. Um, today I want to start off with just sharing a little bit of a story with you guys. So uh, some of you might already know um, our family's blended. There's three, three kids to Megs and two to a previous wife. And the older two are 13 and 12 now. Jay just had a birthday yesterday. And I just wanted to share with you guys a bit about how that works. Uh, and so I, I had my kids four days out of eight. So it's on a rotation of having four and my ex has them for four. And so in our house, we don't use um, laptops or iPads for kids entertainment. They don't have an Xbox, they don't have a PlayStation. I think we've got a Nintendo from 15 or 18 years ago that's probably floating around somewhere, but we've never used it. Um, we encourage our kids to go outside and have fun and just play in the open air and bond with their, with their siblings because they don't always get to see them. We want to make every minute count and enjoy the time with them. And I feel the same. I hate having to share my time with computer stuff and all that. It just does my head in. So um, we spend a lot of time trying to bond and just create relationships. Okay, so it's the weekend. Our normal routine starts. We're uh, drop Jade her sport. And Levi and I have a little project today. So we're off to Bunnings to go and get some wood and yeah, get the day going. Come along. Now, Ezra, um, little brat, jumped on his old bed and broke it. He was bouncing on it. It's pretty flimsy anyway, uh, but he broke the bed. And so as punishment for that, we said to him, if you jump on your bed, you're gonna sleep on the floor if you break it. So he broke his bed, so he's been sleeping on the floor on his mattress for the last few months. And so now, um, Levi, being 13, he's at school, he's doing a bit of woodwork and doing metalwork, has now shown an interest in doing that sort of stuff of fabrication, which is pretty cool. Uh, but this one particularly was pretty awesome for me because this is something that Levi wanted to do. And so, as much as I was just gonna make this bed up and just get it done, uh, Levi showed a great interest in it and he wanted to be part of it as well. Okay, so because Ezra decided to use his bed as a trampoline and he's wrecked his bed, Levi and I thought we'd have a crack at our woodworking skills and just knock up another one. So we don't have a great workshop, but we've got a circular saw and we've got some wood and we're making our own makeshift workbench. So sit back and enjoy the little bed that we're making for the boy. I was taught by my dad how to, how to make stuff. Um, and sadly, I didn't spend much time making stuff with my dad. Um, we didn't have the best relationship. Uh, I loved my dad, and it was it, it was great. Uh, he was he worked very hard, but we couldn't put a tent up together without getting into a fight. And since I was a child, we've never really um, gelled. And so I watched him fabricate and make stuff from a dis you know from a distance, and enjoyed what he made. Uh, as I said, I couldn't work with my dad. Uh, we just clash so much and so this has been a good opportunity for us to um, do something together and um, it's something he's keen on doing and so I'm not going to stop that. I encourage him to, to help make the bed. Um, this is probably the first time he's ever done anything like this outside of school so I'm going to take the lead a fair bit uh, and as he gets a bit more confidence with tools um, I'll let him take over. And what that means is he's gonna make mistakes. And that's cool, like that's great. That's the way we learn. It's exciting to see that he's not in front of a computer, just watching TV or anything like that. He's actually building something with his own hands and learning the mistakes that we've all made as, as younger children. And by that, we just get better at what we do. So um, this is a good time for me just to put some um, effort into our relationship as you know he's getting older now a teenage boy and 
And so teenage boys sort of tend to go off and do their own thing with their mates. And I've been blessed to have him stay as part of the family pretty tight uh, and showing interest in our family and, uh, and wanting to help out and do more in our family. And so that's, um, this is that great time for us to build on that and hope that it just keeps on going. Uh, we've got chook houses and stuff to make as well and I love the idea of him being part of that. Um, just good memories. As I said, my great memories weren't of my dad and I working together weren't great. We, we never had that good opportunity to do that. Um, and sadly, we never got along until probably six months before he died uh, and it finally clicked. And I don't want that to be what happens to me. So I've been, you know, I've been blessed enough to have learnt from that lesson and be able to move forward and uh, build that relationship with my son that I didn't have. And so the next generation will actually know how to relate to their kids and, and do all those sorts. What's also cool is Jay has shown an interest in being part of this as well. And so she's going to do the craft slides. She's very arty. Um, she loves painting and drawing and, and that sort of stuff. So we've got her on the paintbrush and, and I have no doubt it's not going to be the best paint job, but I don't care. Like, all my kids want to be part of making stuff. They don't want to be sitting around in front of a TV. So I just take that with both hands and get excited about that and know that my kids are learning constantly um, on the run and just learning how to make stuff and through our busy life we're still being productive and that to me is pretty special. Yeah, that's how you do it. Are you doing that Is he watch out? Are you doing that again? I'm not going to do it. I have... There you go. That's a cool bed dude, that's right. Is that cool, Ezzy? How good's that, mate? Oh my, oh my goodness. God. It's not yours, Bindi. It's great. Wow. I love this. Um, hi, my name is Jade, and I'm going to paint Ezra's bed in a space theme colour.
first coat done, back tomorrow for more. Day two of painting Ezra's bed. We're doing the second coat. So you're going to see this video is probably taking two or three weeks to make this bed <laughs> and this bed probably took, I don't know, an hour and a half to make um, in reality and uh, it's taking longer because we're doing it on the weekend and Saturdays are crazy for us and we're trying to build a house and, and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, it will get... Um, it will take a little bit longer and you will see there's lots of cuts um, and uh, so you'll probably see now Megs is out of this one um, quite a bit but um, she's definitely behind the scenes doing a lot for us as well so stay tuned and, and watch as we go through this thanks for being part of this thanks for coming along and being part of our family on this if uh, you need the dimensions for the bed, uh, it's just a toddler bed, um, send a message and we can get back to you with the dimensions that we've got. Please like, subscribe and share and that would really help us out a lot. Uh, we've had great fun doing this and hope you come back for more. From our family, From our family to yours, God bless.